I don't know. It was just every single time when I got like, okay, I'm going to do it. Like on the other side, I was thinking that, okay, I still have two broken arms and I have seven months to qualify for the Olympics. I had a great childhood, like uh, I have a brother, uh, my mom was raising us uh, alone, so it was really tough for her and um, uh, I lost my dad like probably like 13 years ago, so. My dad got in a car accident um, when I was two and like he was uh, like, he was paralyzed under his neck and uh, like he couldn't do anything basically. And um, that was the time when my brother was born. He's two years younger than I am. And it was really rough to like, grow up and you know, like everyone else had like, you know, everything. And I was a little bit, you know, uh, in a worse situation. I was always bullied and like, you know, it was, it was tough, but that's what I was fighting like a lot of times, a little bit more than anyone else. So probably that was the toughest thing that I seen from a person. She had like two kids basically really young and she had to like take care of her husband. She sacrificed so much like you can't even imagine like um, in order to you know like make our life better and make it normal so and she did a great job like trust me my brother is an awesome guy too. So I came to the U.S. basically because I wanted to help her out. I knew that I had one chance and I, if I don't do this, basically I'm stuck. I just wanted to like chase my dreams and whenever I was like a chubby little kid, like if you tell me that I can't do it, I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna prove you wrong and I'm gonna make it. After I had the Olympic year, I really needed like an environment change. I was just too excited, like, you know, come to the US, like it's sunny all the time here, the facilities, the education, like every support that we can get, we get it. So at home, it's, everything is a little bit more gray. During the winter, like at home, I had to train in a tent, like over the swimming pool. And that was depressing. <laughs> And I really remember the first time that I saw the stadium and I really like remember that picture in my head and I was just like, you know, like I had to like pull my jaw back, <laughs> just the chin back because it just dropped. So I was biking and like a car was coming and I didn't feel anything, like I fell down like this and uh, I was like, okay, it's fine. Like, have a scratch on me so I went to practice with two broken arms as I found out <laughs> and like you know like as I was riding my bike I started to feel like a little bit pain but I was like oh it's fine like I fell a thousand times like it's not gonna be anything different like I was shattered when he told me like I was really you know mentally broken like everything that I was believing like it just fell apart because you know I just came back from a huge shoulder surgery and I was doing fine it was just so bad, like, you know, I have, until the Europeans, I had five months to qualify for the Olympics and someone has four years. I felt like life is not fair. Life took away so much from me and I just felt so angry about it. There is no more depressing thing when you're just like really thirsty. You're trying to open the doorknob or like trying to open a water bottle and both of your arms are broken. <laughs> like. I lived probably like 1.5 miles from the pool and I was walking every single day. I didn't touch my bike, I didn't get an Uber. I was always walking because I used that like time to like think about this stuff and probably that was the thing that like pulled me out because I could just, you know, I forced myself to like, like get over this because I passed that point when I broke my arm every single time and I was like, whenever I looked at it, I was like, I'm just gonna go and qualify for the Olympics. And I knew that if I can accomplish this and I can come back from this, then there is nothing that I can worry about in life. And like, you know, I had to keep this arm dry outside of the water, so I had to hold it like this. And with the other broken arm, I tried to hold the kickboard, but it was really painful because, you know, like it was still broken. And I didn't really ask for painkillers because I tried to be really conscious about it and I didn't want to make it worse. I couldn't like waste any more time. So before I go to race, I'm not nervous. I love stress. 
like, I don't know, like it just brings out something from me. If I have more and more weight on my shoulder, I swim faster and faster. I just got so much from swimming that it's ridiculous. And my family was always behind me. My mom was just, just, I don't know, she just gave me so much. And that's basically the only way that I can like give her back. And obviously she's the one that I think about before my race. I always trying to get like a little bit more energy and like a, mo a little bit more motivation when, before I go to race. And I just always think about her, how much she, she has done for us. And uh, that's why I swim so fast, I'm pretty sure.